How's it going, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to Trailmakers. Today, we're going to be checking out a brand new update that just came out for this game, simply called the Summer Update, which has unlocked two new blocks, as well as a bunch of graphical improvements on some of the blocks, as well as uh, some of the actual reflections. I think more specifically with the water. So I spawned in my boat here just to kind of see the difference, and it definitely looks like it's more improved. Uh, probably hard to tell if you don't play this game a lot, but, uh, yeah, they definitely made an already beautiful game even a little bit more beautiful. And you can see there's some detailing with the actual blocks now. I don't know if you saw that when the shade hit. Oh, yeah, there you go with the white. Not sure if that's new or not, but I never saw the texture there in the white blocks and all that. Uh, there's supposed to be a lot of graphical updates with a lot of blocks. So we'll probably notice a lot of those today, but we also got two new blocks in the game. One pretty damn major block in my opinion so we're gonna check these things out uh because they seem really cool they also reworked the system here uh you can see already that the blocks look a lot different if we go oh even the seat um the vip seat i don't know if it was always black i'm not certain but i can definitely see some subtle changes in a lot of these blocks here but here we go we got some new blocks i mean i guess technically there's more than two but all these blocks do the same thing we have dispenser blocks now that can do concrete walls beach balls and metal crates why those three items, I have no idea. I'd actually love to see one dispenser block where you can choose what kind of block to put inside of it, but uh, hey, it's better than nothing. We also have a new balance tab here, which has some old blocks in it, basically the pontoon or buoyancy blocks, as well as the weighted blocks. Uh, you can see even some of the wheels look a little bit different to me. But in my opinion, the most important new block is a new mechanical block. We finally have a way to detach things off of our main vehicle. We have the detachable block now. So this is going to add another layer of creativity into this game and allow for some different creations. And I think we're going to try and do a build today. I think a staged rocket will be a good challenge. And with the detachable block, obviously, we'll be able to do that. But before we get into that, let's actually check out the other new blocks. So I'm just going to spawn in that little buggy that I had, I think, because I don't actually have too many generic cars these days. So I just downloaded a really cool buggy here. And I'm going to attach the blocks to this, and we'll see kind of how they work. I mean, I think I get the idea it's just going to spawn something out of it. But I'm curious to see if we can maybe play around with this a little bit and see what it does. So we'll put this guy right in the back here. We'll try one at a time for right now. This is the concrete dispenser and what do you know it poops out concrete blocks now i don't know why they're going that way let's actually see how this block works so if i go into here okay these things don't despawn either this could get interesting so how does this thing work okay so space and t key okay so what does the t key do because it looks like it's up and down uh let's press the t key here oh yeah i just saw okay so that's how you delete them so you can go Pretty damn crazy here, and <laughs> how many can we spawn in? That's what I'm more curious about. Is there a limitation to how many we can do? Oh, I'm getting some lag right now, guys. I am getting some major lag. I think you can just keep going and going. That, oh, nope, it's finally starting to despawn. I was wondering what the limitation would be, and it looks like that is indeed it. But the cool thing is, is we can totally get rid of these as well manually by pressing the T block. So, I gotta be honest, I'm not really sure what you would use this for. They suggested in the update you use it to quickly create your own makeshift uh, racetracks. I think it would be a good thing to maybe use as a defense mechanism when you are racing so you could block your competition because that would obviously be extremely annoying. Let's actually throw one of these on the front and see what happens if we run into it. Okay, so it looks like it just goes right through. There must be a second of invisibility or something, but it looks like it just goes right through it. Let's slow down a little bit. Ooh. Okay, it doesn't go through it. I was just going too fast. Jesus. Okay, and the crate block, man, can it chuck them? I mean, check out this. So I can actually almost land this on myself. It seems to go a little bit ahead. Maybe we can get lucky here. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. Oh, just missed me. I, I got to see how much damage this can do, but it's going to be so hard to try and get this right. So let's just see. I'm feeling right here, man. This is going to be it. I mean, check out the amount of air that these things are getting, though. That is ridiculous. How high? I wish I could see... Okay, you can see upwards now. I mean, why, why are they so powerful? That is absolutely crazy now. Okay, so it looks like there's a much bigger limitation to these because you saw when I spawned these other ones in, it deleted the other ones. So, god damn. Okay, these ones are much lighter, though. Because I hit this, and it 
It basically is a concrete wall. Stops you right in your tracks, but uh, this other block, you can actually move around a little bit. So I, I, I like this one more. I still don't understand it, though. <laughs> Okay, so I figured out something upon playing with these things, trying to crush myself, which is way harder than it seems, by the way. You can actually kind of prime your shots with this. So if you want a really small shot, just tap the button real quick. That's going to be a nice, small uh, shot, as you can see. But if you hold it and then shoot, you can see they go way further. Uh, we're not even going to be able to see them. They're way up in the air, though. So you can actually decide how hard you want to shoot these things. Oh, please hit me. Please hit me. Come off. Oh. Man, it looked like it was going way further. So I definitely like this one a little bit more. I think it would be fun to have some sort of battle with these boxes because I like the way that you can actually prime them and decide how far you want to shoot them. Let's check out the final one, though, which is the beach balls. Okay, so there we go. It spawns, you guessed it, a beach ball. This one's a, a lot, lot more nice compared to the other ones. Can we charge this one up? It looks like we can, but it definitely doesn't go as high. I mean, it is a light beach ball after all. But, uh, yeah, how many can we do? That's the bigger question. Three? That's it? Oh, man, I was going to make a huge beach ball pit and jump into it or something. But we can't really do that with three, so that's no fun. Uh, but, yeah, those are the dispenser blocks. Pretty cool little addition to the game. Uh, you could definitely do some, uh, like, party modes with this with, with your friends or something. I mean, there's, there, there's, there's always fun with beach balls. All right, so that was just a quick overview of the new update, guys. Just checking out some of the new features into this game. Now we're going to get on to the build, and I want to build that staged rocket. So it doesn't really make sense. We don't technically need a staged rocket, because the whole point of one is to get rid of empty fuel tanks. Well, there's no fuel in Trailmakers, so we don't need that. I just want to see if I can do it, damn it. Okay, and there is the first fuel tank, well, the first first draft of the fuel tank done. I have no idea if this is aerodynamically stable or anything like that. Uh, we're going to have to put some fins on this and everything. We'll get into that when we're actually testing the rocket out, but uh, I like that. I think it looks pretty nice, and uh, we're going to make the actual space shuttle much larger. Well, not much larger, but probably uh, four times as wide. So now we're moving on to that. And here is the first draft of the rocket. Now, I decided to go from two fuel uh, canisters to four because I just wanted to keep the rocket perfectly balanced, and that's the easiest way to do it. I could obviously add either some weight or just some sort of aerodynamics to uh, stabilize it as well, which we will be adding uh, aerodynamics in a little bit. I just want to see if everything works. So I set up the decouplers, and we should have three stages of it right now. First of all, the stage where we go off the landing pad, or the, sorry, the launch pad. Then we can get rid of the canisters, and then finally we can pop off the top and hopefully flo float back down to safety. But obviously I don't have any sort of safety net uh, engaged right now. So this is just first test. There we go, first one's done. Second one's done. Can we still rocket it? Yes, we can. And I'm trying to pull it off. Oh, what the, what did I just do? Oh god, that, that wasn't supposed to happen, but it was going well until then. Okay, in my excitement, I accidentally pressed uh, R instead of T, so there we go. We're going to break those off. I'm going to try and get out of the way of that, and <laughs> it works. At least all the stages work. 
But that was not pretty at all. That, that, that was chaotic, to say the least. And after a couple hours of fine-tuning, we actually got something that somewhat works. By the way, we're on the water now because this is the flattest ground in the game. So I just made a floating platform, and it worked quite well. So I did a lot of stuff off recording. Uh, I'll actually go through a few things that I did. So, for example, the floating platform, obviously, to have a nice flat ground. I also have Dragon Jet engines inside the shaft of the main rocket. I totally forgot that raw jet engines power on for three seconds, and I think they power off for five, so obviously that doesn't really work. But the Dragon Jet engines keep it going forward just a little bit. Uh, I also added aerodynamics, as you can clearly see, and uh, I am trying to stabilize the escape pod, or the landing pod, to see if we can actually land this thing as well. So let's give this thing a test flight, see how good it is, and there's a little bit of lag, as you can see, it connected to it, but that's totally fine. So we got rid of that. There we go. We're going to disconnect from that with our little pod. Now, I gotta have some sort of flight controls with this, but look at this. It goes down exactly like I wanted, and we're at the bottom of the sea. Uh, but obviously it goes down the right way, so if we add a little rocket on the bottom, I think that's all we really need, and we can actually land this thing as well. Actually, you know what? I feel like we need a little bit more propulsion, so what if we try and do the actual dragon engines on this as well? We can always just tap them and be very nice with them, and we'll see what we can do with this. So can we actually connect this here without connecting it to the actual bottom part? Ooh, I don't know if it's going to fit in there. It's going to be a tight one. I think we're totally fine. Yes, there we go. And we're not connected past the decoupler. So if we add four of these, I mean, that's going to be a lot of power for this little thing. Uh, we'll see what happens, though. You know, I'm all about experimentation. And uh, yeah, this could be very fun or very deadly. But honestly, deadly's fun as well, especially in Trail Makers. All right, and let's give this a go with the added propulsion. Now, I did do some other fine-tuning. I changed the way the uh, wings are, so they're actually attached to the middle rocket now. That's for added stability once the uh, fuel tanks get pushed off. So let's give it a shot, see how good it is. There we go, first one perfect. Get rid of those, and we are flying high, guys. My god. Okay, get out of here before it blows. I'm going to try and get off this thing. There we go. Oh. Yes, okay, and I can actually control this in the air, so I'm gonna try and push this back over here, and if we can actually land on hard land, that is, that, that is my whole goal, to just successfully land somewhere on the hard land. So, I mean, it wasn't perfect. Oh, yes, it was. There we go. <laughs> we made it, and we successfully landed. So, that was my whole goal. That's all I wanted to do, and I gotta say, I'm pretty damn happy with this thing. Uh, obviously, I'd like to add some sort of steering to it, and I guess I could try and do that now. And evidently, steering is really hard to do on a rocket. Go figure. So I've added uh, some tail fin steering here, as you can see. Oh, man, I don't know if it's going to go very well, though. I've been fine-tuning it. I've been trying many different things, and nothing's really working for me. But I have these nice slow tail fins now that you can see. If you're looking at the bottom, you can see they rotate just a little bit, and then they toggle back right to the middle when I'm not using them. So we keep those perfect aerodynamics when they're not in use. So hopefully we can actually do something with this. Let's give it a shot. I'm going to take that off quickly, and I'm going to try and... Yes, there we go. Oh, man, you can see it just flings it around, though. All right, get, get off before we die. Yeah, unfortunately, I think steering is just too much for me, guys. I am willing to admit I am not the best when it comes to steering rockets. I am definitely not a rocket scientist, but look at this. Look at, like, look at that. Oh, man, that felt so good to just land on flat ground with nothing breaking off, and I didn't kill myself either, so I'm happy with that. It's not the perfect rocket, but God damn it. I'm pretty damn impressed with it. Only thing else I had to do was paint the beast, and there we go. It is done, guys. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. Uh, handling, I would give it a good 7 out of 10, but uh, the actual looks, I'll give it a 10 out of 10, because I am so happy about this. Uh, but yeah, that is my three-stage rocket, guys. It's not perfect, but god damn it, I am happy with it. And uh, I love that I can... The, the, my, my favorite thing is this, because I can actually control it, and it's it's designed to be weighted at the bottom, so it should come down quite easily, and as you can see, 
very, very controllable. So yeah, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this episode of Trail Makers. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out the new update and playing with one of the new blocks. We made a three-stage rocket. I didn't think I'd ever be able to say that because rockets are something I am not good at. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you do want to check out that creation and work upon it for yourself, maybe you can improve it. Link will be in the description. Thanks so much for all your support, guys. Thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,